Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to the message. I hope that everyone is doing so, so, so amazing at this time. Thank you for joining me. Um, thank you for following your intuition. Um, and welcome to Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a prophetess. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy full moon. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, Capricorn full moon. It's the second Capricorn full moon that we are having during Cancerian season. Um, this is the full moon of There's a lot, there's a lot with this full moon. Um, at 29 degrees Capricorn, it's very, very strong Capricorn energy, of course. Um, it is, for me, it's the blue moon, it's a blue moon, it's a buck moon, it's whatever, right? Um, but for me, this, this moon feels like, like an ending point of weeding out the, BS. It's like sifting through the BS. Okay. Like, um, and revisiting your stability, you know, uh, your, you know, this could be about like your job, your, your work, your home, your family life, you know, Capricorn kind of governs like all these kind of, you know, areas. So for me, it's the foundation, right? So Right now, the Divine Feminine has been doing a lot of sifting and shifting and weeding out the BS, okay? Like, weeding out the weeds, if you will, right? Okay, so you guys have been doing that, right? Now, it's like the Divine Masculine in a really huge way, and it's not just because of this full moon, but this full moon, it's like the icing on the cake, okay? Okay. There is a great deal of energy coming through of readjustment and re-evaluation coming from the, from the masculine and probably for you guys too, right? This is an energy coming through of what I'm receiving. It's like a fed up energy. So I'm picking up on the masculine energies that are fed up with their day-to-day -day routine, life, connections, relationships, patterns, their own patterns. It's like when you reach this point, right? And we've all been there as, you know, ascended souls, like going through these spiritual awakenings and going through all the healing and peeling back the layers, right? Um, you guys, I'm sure many of you guys, unless you are an enlightened, awakened, divine masculine who's here, which I do have um, very powerful masculines who have been being drawn to this channel very heavily, especially over the past like six months, year. Um, now I've like totally just lost my train of thought. Okay. And with that, we will get into some cards. Okay. Anyways, this is the get shit done moon. This is the um, tying up loose ends, like where you've been reevaluating things about your life, your career, your relationships, you know, your own stability and foundation in life, etc. Um, this is the point where you really get to like sift through and then go, nope, this, this doesn't belong. I'm releasing this. I'm surrendering this. Now, there is a forceful energy of surrender here with this full moon. We know the full moon is all about release. Um, it's actually quite beneficial to do your release work with the full moon cycles um like the day after the full moon like it's about when the moon is full it peaks and then it starts waning that's a really great time when the moon is actually releasing that's a great time to do release work okay so fyi um but also for the masculine i feel this like forceful surrender um it's like the universe is coming down with like an iron fist and going okay enough is enough now it's time to make some big big choices. And what I'm feeling here is that the divine masculines are feeling quite fed up. They've been feeling fed up with their own stuff. You know, it's like outdated thinking. It's like just, they're like seeing through their own 444 on the timer. Um, they're seeing through their own traps that they have been setting for themselves, you see, in a really big way. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, let's see. All right. So, 
you guys. Like, bottom of the deck was the death card. And I'm splitting the deck immediately on the two of cups. This is someone who is absolutely consumed, enamored with what they're feeling on a soul level for the divine feminine. It's big, big love. Ace of cups. Wow. 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 Okay. So I'm not going to take those. Um, but we see kind of like immediately like what the universe is wanting us to see. And then the death card being on the bottom of the deck. I mean, that's all about transformation. Okay. So there's also a lot of transformation happening in the masculine's lives right now. Um, you know, if they are, yeah, see queen of cups, 10 of cups. I mean, this is like all the feels, ace of cups, two of cups, queen of cups. Like this is like deep, deep. Like I think the last reading I did a few days ago, um, cause I've been off for a few days. Um, July 18th is my youngest brother's birthday. Um, and this time of year is always very difficult for me and my family. So I took a few days off work, um, because he has transitioned. Um, it'll be eight years in August. So, um, you know, I just took a few days off just to be with self, just to feel my emotions, to just kind of be with him honor, you know, and then of course these full moon energies and the solar flares and all the things are just like so crazy. Right. Um, so that's why I haven't, you know, I've been away for a few days. Um, but the last reading that I did, I believe it was something along the lines of, um, like how profoundly the masculine, the masculines are really feeling the soul energy, the soul love. Okay. It's not just, oh yeah, you know, I really have chemistry with this person or I really clicked with this person. It's literally like, there's no way that I can't, you know, not talk to this person or speak to this person ever again. Right. So it's very intense. It's very powerful, palpable. Okay. For the divine masculines right now. So let's go ahead and see what wants to come through here. <laughs> yeah. I can't live if living is without you. I've channeled that song like a bunch of times before. Look what just fell out in my lap, you guys. Like seriously, <laughs> confirmation, confirmation. This is a divine masculine who wants to feel the love. They are choosing self-love self-worth okay this is someone who is putting an end to people pleasing in their life it's like i'm and this buck moon this capricorn full moon it is giving them the mo to like to push forward to push through to push onwards to you know release what they know is no longer uh applicable in their life <laughs> if you want to say that okay so they are holding on to this Ace of Cups for you. This is, their heart is just like so open. They're feeling this so strongly, you guys, okay? So, you know, with the blue moon energy, right? Like the saying, once in a blue moon, it's like miraculous type energy. Um, it, is it is definitely bringing forth that vibe around this connection. And it's almost like a now or never type feeling, okay? Can we guarantee like 100%? No, and this is collective. It's not a personal reading. And even in a personal reading, no reader in the world can say, oh yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, absolutely, 1,010%, this is what's gonna happen, right? Because of free will, free will choices. But this is someone whose free will is in alignment at this time this is what they are aligning to. This is what they want. This is someone whose free will is aligning to the heart and soul, or it has because of what they're feeling. It is like the soul, the soul <laughs> connection that they're feeling right now with you. It is beyond, 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 beyond. Like they're feeling it so strongly. And this just feels to me like there's no way 
with my heart so activated and so full of love for this person that I can go, you know, another three months or six months or the rest of my life without expressing how I feel. So, and then look who's on the bottom of the deck. There's your secret admirer, your secret love admirer. Now, this is someone who has a lot to say. Notice the love letter, the unspoken sealed words in this envelope, okay? This is someone who is definitely, definitely feeling this on a deep, profound soul level, okay? So, um, they, they want to express. They want to express openly what's in the heart, okay? But will they do it? I don't know. Will of fortune. This person could bring you flowers or send you flowers or surprise you, show up. That's kind of what I'm getting, like a like a knock at the door. Okay, that would obviously be if like this is someone who kind of knows where you live or whatever, right? Um, but this is like an unexpected surprise, a visitor. Um, for some of you guys, this could be travel. I'm getting like a road trip or someone who's like, I want to come see you. Can I come see you? Um, this is someone who definitely with the Knight of Cups, like their love light is on. It's all the way on, you guys. Their love light is on. This is someone who, what did I say, is aligning, okay? They're, they're wanting to, they're making choices in their life right now that is tied to destiny and karma. And this is about like the wheel turning. There's balance here. So this is what this person, um, this is what this person is going after right now in their life. The wheel of destiny is turning because they are doing something they're, they're making moves from the heart and from the soul, which means they're listening to the higher self, okay? Which means the soul is in the driver's seat, which means that, you know, <laughs> I'm going to say that the things that used to stop this person, it just feels like those things are just going away. Like whatever that was, whatever that is, whatever that's been, their ego, it's like a, you know, it's like a... It's like a whole like buffet of things, right? Their ego and abandonment wounds and family patterns and generational stuff and karmic third parties and da 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 da, da right? All right, so let's see what else. Yeah, big enlightenment, big enlightenment. They're moving forward from the things that have been keeping them stuck. This person is fed up because they're seeing from an enlightened point of view. They're, they're seeing from the, from the higher self from the soul, from, you know, and I feel too, like there's a lot of like angelic energy. I feel like there's, there's just so much driving this right now. There's so many signs. There's so much that this person, it's like, you notice the white horse. Okay. So he rode his, he rode in on his white horse. He laid out the blanket. He brought a picnic basket, wine, roses. I mean, this is someone who is really showing up and they really want to, they're going to show up in ways, you guys, that like that even shock, they shock you, but they shock this person because they've never felt this or experienced this before. And they are seeing it very clearly at this point in time. And for who this is for, like you've been getting a lot of like, you know, messages and synchronicities about all of this too. Okay. They are too. So, um, but it's like someone who's already arrived. Like, so for me, what this is showing is that this person has plans to arrive and not only just arrive, but they have plans to communicate with the night energy. There's a lot that they want to say to you. There's a lot that they want to say to you. I'm seeing the 10 of wands in my mind's eye right now. So it's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's like the love that they feel for you and what they feel. It's like, it's, it's weighing heavy, but it's like almost like burdensome. It feels like burden. Like it's becoming like a burden, not like, like, oh gosh, I, I hate this. It's, it's more like a burden. Like I have to do this. This is something that I'm feeling compelled to do. Okay. Another message that is coming through, um, that I received like before I started this reading if this person has been in any kind of like a third party karmic situation, we'll just say that, um, this is someone who, that's why I was getting fed up. Like they're fed up. This is someone who is ready for 
new, 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 new cycles. They want, you know, they're, they're choosing me. This is, I'm fed up with not doing things that make me happy. I'm, I'm tired of living my life walking on eggshells. You know, I just feel like I'm always making choices, you know, to basically like keep, to not rock the boat, you know, with like other people or family or, or maybe they have not wanted to break up a family, you know, because I do get like for some of these masculines and this has come through over the past few years, like so many times, but some of these masculines, you know, they, their abandonment wounds and their self-love and self-worth wounds, they, they cut really deep, you guys. And, um, the feminine has been mirroring such beautiful healing energy and self-love and choosing self and doing things that are right for, you know, for, for their alignment and their growth and their expansion. And the masculine has been witnessing this, you know, throughout your, your journey or whatever. Right. Um, but this is someone who has finally awoken to the fact that they deserve to be happy, whether that's with you, another person, and you know, whatever it is, they're making choices from the heart and from the soul that bring forth happiness and love into their life. Okay. Look who's on the bottom of the deck. King of Wands. Yeah. Yep. Someone who is carrying a very big torch for you. Someone who has always carried that torch for you. Okay. Someone who has, you know, like the Knight of Cups, he's, you know, he's like the lovey, romantic, you know, chivalrous knight, right? Um, but he can also, like, if he's like in his shadow energy, like he can also be like the one that comes in and says all the right things and kind of love bombs and then he's gone, right? So I feel like this person, they see now with enlightened eyes, of how they've been deceptive to themselves, to you, to, you know, but it's like, they're seeing like just how we all start to see like, you know, when you go through an awakening and, and you know, all the things, right? Or you have a twin flame that activates you or whatever the case is, right? Like, it makes you start seeing that you deserve the world. It makes you start making conscious choices and efforts in your life to do what adds it just you start expanding things that bring and add value you know you start protecting your energy you have you know healthy boundaries with people you know you start speaking your truth you start speaking from the heart from the soul you start listening to your intuition the higher selves right that's exactly what's going on right here with this person okay um i don't know why it looks so whoop, it looks so dark Hold on one second, guys. I need to turn on my green light. I don't know why. It's like... Okay. So the masculine is choosing self-love, self-worth. Okay. So let's pull on that. Let's pull on that really quickly. Tell me more about this divine masculine coming from a place of the heart, from the soul. Tell me more about what this masculine is doing in their life at this moment with this full moon in Capricorn to bring forth. It's almost like what I'm getting, like what, you know, speaking of like Capricorn and like, it's like your stability, stability in life and, you know, work, finances, career, you know, your home life, all the things, right? So this masculine they have, they're surrendering up a false, it's like they're seeing like the life that they've created in a huge way. They're seeing that that is not at all what they want. It is not who they are. They feel guilty, I think. Um, I'm getting guilt. Like they feel guilty because they've changed. And for some of them, that's the conversation maybe with the karmic, I'm getting chills at my right leg, so I'm right. Um, they feel guilty, like, and that's what has kept them stuck is guilt, you know? I don't want to hurt people. I don't want to, if there's children, I don't want to hurt the kids, you know? I don't want to be that bad guy, you know? But now it's like they're seeing that it's actually 
that's what you're meant to do because if not, you're going to keep living a toxic cycle and everyone's going to hurt because of it. You know, the kids will feel it. There's uncomfortable energy in the home, tension between spouses. Like, you know what I mean? So in the long run, it's like when people go, oh yeah, we're just going to stay married for the kids. That is such a load of crap, you know, because in reality, you're forcing a very karmic loop and pattern that's generational patterning right there right yeah we're both unhappy yeah we don't like really you know we're not in love with each other anymore but you know we have kids and a home and bills and it's just easier right all the things right well the masculine is now in a place where um yeah see it's like they've had blinders on when it comes to their home life this is exactly what i'm talking about right now so it's like the long term you know let's say they they we're in a marriage or long-term commitment or like a live-in situation, whatever it is, right? This is exactly, it's like they're at a point, two of swords of making choices. And this full moon is what, like I said, like it's like them sifting through the weeds, through the crap, through the BS. And that's exactly what it is. I'm releasing this. I'm surrendering this, this I'm taking with me, whatever it is, right? Like it's, um, and this could be quite like literal, you guys, like, I could be picking up on masculine who is moving out or they're like separating assets or, you know, like things in the home, like you take this blender and I'll keep this and da, 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 da. it's like all of that right now. Okay. I'm actually getting like U-Haul. So this could be like moving trucks. Um, wow. Okay. And then, yeah, see, and then the death card shows up, which speaks of, you know, death, rebirth, right? Endings, uh, one door closes three more open, death brings life. It's like all of that. Okay. Um, they're awakening to the fact that they really feel like, um, I don't want to say they are awakening. They've been awakening to the fact that they really truly deserve, um, to live, that they are deserving of a happy life that to be in a marriage or to be in a relationship or to, you know, have, it's like, you know, everyone always, it's like the, you know, thing that is ingrained in us, you know, like, oh, you got to work hard to get anywhere in life. And yeah, that is true, right? But it's like working smarter, not harder. And that's what this masculine is seeing. They're going, I've been like, you know, working my fingers to the bone, not just literally with work and life, but it's like, I've been working so hard to keep something together that just doesn't work. And so they're seeing you know, whether that's an addiction, their own ego mentality, um, you know, maybe how they are shut down or how their heart's been closed off. It's like, I've loved people, I've experienced love, but you, you, Mia Muller, you opened my true heart and they know this. Okay, so I'm not going to take the death card. Let's see what else. Okay, so tell me more about the two swords. This is like, you know, they've been at a crossroads. They wanted to make choices for a while. Again, I'm getting guilt, but this is a masculine who is so fed up with being unhappy. And that's just, right? Like if you're waking up every single day and you're going through the same thing every single day, right? You know, and if you're going through an awakening, if there's enlightenment, of course, you're going to start seeing through those loops and patterns, right? Right? Like with you, they see the expansiveness. They see and feel the growth that, you know, you two would create together in your lives. They, 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 they are seeing this more clearly, right? Like you are not just another rant of, we know like no meetings and things that happen in life are random or coincidences. We know that everything is, you know, aligned and what we attract in and call in and, you know, different things like that, right? So... And they've struggled, and also what's coming through very strongly is they've struggled for a long time about not feeling worthy of you. Like they felt like if they really, like if you really got to know them and were like in a relationship, they felt like they, that you would like see the truth about them, that they hold shame around, whether that's like just their past, their you know, what they consider to be mistakes or people they, they were with or been with or whatever it is, right? They were like making your mind up for you, right? Like they were go, like, they, this is what I'm getting. They were thinking in their mind, like, 
once once the feminine sees the real true me and spends some quality quality time with me i just know that they're gonna see that i'm not good enough for them and then i'm gonna lose them and because they have felt what it's like to lose you in past lives before there is this fear wound around that for a lot of you guys right because they've lost you you've lost each other to death and famine and you know sickness and dis-ease like in you know past lives and childbirth for, for the feminine or the you know it's just like there's been so much loss that they couldn't bear to feel that one more time so they made up your mind for you okay look at that but now is a time of justice now is a time where they are creating this is a leveling out they're leveling out they're they, they've been at a crossroads about choices okay but the, the reason why they were at a crossroads is because they couldn't get out of their head and because they were still wearing blinders in one way or the next okay but now it's like they're feeling from the soul from the heart from their higher heart and now that they're like so in tune with that feeling like there's no way they can shake this and that's exactly the surrendering it's like that's what the masculine is saying right now to themselves they're going there's no way i can shake this person at least not while i'm holding on to my feelings you know there's a it's like a pressure valve of release okay so it's like this person um and that was i think in my last message it was something about like unbearable separation like it's feeling unbearable. It's, it's, it's like I said, it's burdensome energy. Like they have to do it to alleviate the, 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 of what they're feeling as far as like the pressure. Okay. Um, and King of Cups there, and there's the nine wands. I, and then the tower. Yeah. So this is about very, and you know, with the tower, the tower, it's like when lightning strikes, right? Like boom, right? Like it shakes things up okay with the tower you know this is a divine realignment a divine detour if you will so it is the universe detouring them um so any like little pieces of like whatever has been you know like these walls right here like you know these are not like high walls right so their walls have come down and they're ready to just step over that and open up from the heart notice the heart chakra all the light beaming from the heart and then the crown okay so this is someone who's definitely like stepping back upon their throne as the emperor as the king okay this is emotional maturity someone who has been holding on to a great deal of emotion but they haven't ever released it due to the fear of being wounded okay but they have realized that it just grows it expands what they feel for you it's it's not going away so for me there's some kind of unexpected revelation here number one this is powerful enlightenment happening um with the sun the solar flares um this is like massive activation here that this masculine is is going through i mean we're all going through it of course right like global ascension global awakening um, but it's very, very strong for them right now, you guys. So it's like they've been feeling this for a while. Yeah, see, it's just like, boom, I need to open up. I need to reveal some things to the Empress. Okay. And she is extremely magnetic. I mean, look at the full moon, right? It's a magnetization of energy pulling from the earth, pulling from the womb, pulling from, right? So this is like, this is them being pulled and magnetized, pulled to you. It almost just feels like they don't even, it's like, it almost feels like what they feel like is like they don't have a choice. Yeah. It, because watching and spying and daydreaming, okay, it's no longer working. In fact, it just feels like they're deceiving themselves, you know? It's like, if, if, if I just don't say anything, I'm deceiving true love. I feel like I'm deceiving myself. I feel like I'm, you know, deceiving um, the truth. I feel like I'm deceiving the divine feminine. And, you know, they've been manifesting this and watching and, and thinking about this for a while, okay? 
So this is someone who, again, is setting, they've set intentions in their life. They're making big life choices, decisions um, to get themselves out of this nine swords energy. And this is kind of like where they've been. You know what I mean? Where we have 30 minutes. Okay. Also, I think that for a lot of them, like I said, that, that nine swords, the justice, you know, it's like, I haven't wanted to hurt anyone. I haven't wanted to wound anyone. But now I have to come. I have to follow my heart. Ace of Cups. Very first card out. I have to follow my heart and my soul, which is what I've been ignoring this whole time. <laughs> and the universe and spirit keeps showing me over and over again that I'm not in alignment. And the place and the things that I'm fearful of doing are the things that I'm actually meant to do, right? So let's see here. Making healthy choices, exactly. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. And literally, like, that's exactly what the download and the channeled message was. I'm fed up. I'm choosing me. I'm I'm choosing a life where I live for me. This is not selfish. People always, oh, that's so self. No, that is the opposite of selfish. That is love. That is when you can embody love for yourself and you know your worth and your value. You're going to be happier in your life instead of just, you know, surrendering to unhappiness and forcing yourself to be in an unhappy place or situation or pattern. So beautiful. They're absolutely choosing self-love. Okay. The fact that their own inner feminine is like, they're, 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 they're feeling their inner, it's a balance, right? With justice. So it's like, they're allowing, it's like, they're feeling the feels. Okay. But also with the masculine energy, this is also, it's like their emotions, their feelings, their heart, their soul. It is fueling action. It is fueling them taking the lead in their life. Okay, so they are making healthy choices. And then look what we got. The coffin card. It's like the death card, right? And we saw the death card, right? A couple times today in the message. I didn't take it, but endings that bring new beginnings. And that's what I was getting, right, guys? When I was seeing, I, I was saying, when I was channeling, I said, um, uh, one door close. It's like death brings life. One door closes and like three more open, you know, all of that. This confirms that also. So there's a lot of like endings for transformation. So they're, they are at this time and have been, and will be create, they're making healthy choices that, that align them, or at least bring them to the divine feminine to open up about this secret love or this feeling, these feelings that they have held on to secretly. Okay. Um, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Yes. And then look at this literally like you can't make it up the coffin card followed by the Phoenix. This is absolute confirmation of death and rebirth rising from the ashes. So right now the masculine is in the Phoenix rising energy. They're burning it all down to the ground and so they can build something new, which is exactly what this full moon in Capricorn helps us do. Removing the things that aren't serving us or that are taking away from our stability and growth and, you know, success and all these things, right? And then opening up space for new, right? To come in. Okay. The Phoenix. Oh my gosh. And then the butterfly. Look at all this beautiful transformation. A new phase rekindling. Okay. So there, again, I want new in my life. I want just new in my life. I'm, I'm out with the old, in with the new. Renewal, rekindle, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. And then the butterfly obviously says, uh, well, it's, it's transformation energy, of course, right? Real caterpillar to butterfly, all that. So they're showing up as the phoenix, butterfly. So this person, they have been in the cocoon. They've been in the cocoon phase. Uh-huh. And now it's like whatever they have been revisiting, rethinking, reevaluating in their life while in this cocoon phase, 
it, it, it is now it's they've seen it and now they're like rising from the ashes as this beautiful butterfly because caterpillar can't mate with the butterfly right caterpillar can't mate with the butterfly but the butterfly can mate with the butterfly so the empress is the butterfly energy of course right so i love that the masculine energy is showing up as the butterfly energy too okay um so let's get one more of these and then i'll just get a couple messages um so look at that the love call like you cannot oh my gosh wow there it is the love call the love call there it is someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know okay so i think and i've said this a few times in readings like recently over the past like month month and a half or so um and it's coming through again right now but like thinking of you and letting you know is something it's an excuse it's it's a reason to reach out okay because i feel that this masculine they have been like racking their brain about how to approach this how to approach you what to say like they feel like this communication is obviously a very powerful moment so they feel like i don't want to say the wrong thing or i don't want to screw it up so i think for a lot of you guys like it's that it, that's it hey i was just thinking of you and i just wanted to reach out and i wanted to see how you've been how how are you doing you know, you've been on my my mind or, you know, I dreamt of you the other night or you've been in a, cup, a few of my dreams recently. And, you know, so anyways, it's just, it's things like that. Okay. So I'm going to use um, one of my message decks. Okay. And we'll see what this masculine wants to say. I'm thinking of you and I'm just calling to let you know someone expresses love and a message of love with the love call. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and I think too, for a lot of you guys, like they just want to let you know, they want to, they want to talk, they want to check in, they want to see, you know, Temp, you know, check the temp or whatever. How's it going to be? But I think for a lot of you guys, this person is again with the, with the tower, with all of this transformation energy for some of you guys, they may reach out and just be like, you know, letting you know, like I'm going through an ending or I'm, I've recently gone through a breakup or this is what's going on in my life. You know, you've been in my thoughts. I just wanted to reach out and wanted to say, hello, how have you been? You know, things like that. Okay. I attached failure and love together. I had my mind made up until I met you. Yeah. So they just naturally, like when it came to love or, you know, it was like, boom, it, they attached failure and like, you know, it always ends bad kind of a thing. Um, okay. But you, you have acted, you Empress activated healing for those wounds. You, you mirrored healing. This one wants to come out. What is that? I am now breaking free of addictions and codependency. Wow. Wow. And I was trying to shuffle it back in and it was like, nope, nope, nope. Okay. Exactly. I am breaking free. That's that devil energy right there. We'll just say that. Breaking free of the devil energy. Where they've been at a crossroads, they are making big life choices and decisions. I am not ready for us. I feel so much confusion and depression. My world feels dark. That's the cocoon phase. That's where they've been. That's where they've been. It's dark in the cocoon, right? What's that? Our bond is unbreakable and it was powerful and instant from the start. Wow. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This is someone who wants to explore a new beginning. At least that's what they're hoping for. But they have to communicate something here. They have to communicate something. At least that's how they're feeling. I knew from the start that you were special, such an angel, like you fell from heaven and right into my life. Hashtag thank you. 
yeah. So it, again, just deep appreciation, deep gratitude. Like they have appreciation and respect and gratitude. This is someone who holds you on a very high pedestal, higher than they've ever held anyone, of course. Okay. This is, I mean, you know, you know what I am? I want to treat you like the queen that you are. That's what I'm getting here. You know, man or woman watching the king or queen that you are. Okay. Um, we just had a couple messages fall out on the ground. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up now, guys. Um, but I send you guys all love and happy full moon. And um, I am getting back to emails after being off for a, a few days. So if you've emailed me this week and you haven't heard back, that's that's why I will be responding. <laughs> okay. Um, it's like, yeah. So And I try to go like from like, you know, the ones that came in first. You know what I mean? So, um, so thank you, Mia Morris. Have patience. Um, I will be, uh, responding, um, cause yeah, I've had, I have people who are like requesting like sessions, bookings, um, people who want to, they've watched like the, you know, the readings about the seven, you know, they've heard me talk about the seven, seven portal, uh, workshop. So people wanting to purchase the recording and all that. So thank you, my loves for your patience. I will be getting back to you. Um, and, uh, yeah. And speaking of the portals, uh, or the portal workshops, you guys, um, I took a few days off, so I haven't posted it yet, but I will post like probably tomorrow. Um, yeah, Monday, tomorrow. Officially um, opening the uh, ticket purchases for the 88 Lions Gate Activation Quantum Healing Workshop. This will be the 10th workshop, you guys, that we have done for portal workshops. We don't, I don't do them all the time. Obviously, we have portals every single month. Um, but I only do them when I'm divinely called and, and, and led to do them, right? So this one, the divine call, we are going to be astral traveling to Atlantis, okay? And we will be receiving some powerful, beautiful Atlantean healing codes and purification and cleansing energies with sacred crystal technologies from Atlantis and the waters of Atlantis. And we will be visiting sacred temples in Atlantis. So you guys, I'm just so, 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 so excited. Um, this one will be a kind of, I think like a mixture. So the Syrians, obviously the Atlanteans, obviously, um, but the goddess energies that are coming through very strongly, or, you know, the high priest, high priestess energies that are coming through very strongly, um, that want to, that I will be channeling and that will be guiding this workshop is Lady Nara, Green Tara, Thoth, the Syrians, um, the, the dolphins and the whales, very, very, very strongly, the mermaid energy, very, very strongly. Um, so yeah, so anyways, I'm just so, so, so excited. Like since I started doing these divinely guided, uh, channeled workshops, um, I've been like wanting and hoping that like Atlantis would come through and for this Lionsgate portal, it's finally, <laughs> finally happening. So I'm just so excited. And I just hope that if you feel the call that you please, please, please come in and join us, whether you can make the live zoom or not. Um, I think we'll be doing it on the 10th. So the 88 portal peaks on 88, um, which is Thursday or Friday, I think. I don't know. So I think we'll be doing it that Saturday, which I think is the 10th, um, because we know that the portal energies are like, the energy lingers, it, it carries through. So it's not like, oh, the portal happens on 88 and then it's just over. No, not at all. In fact, most of the workshops that we've done, um, just because of the way the dates fall, like the 7-7 one, we lucked out because 7-7 was on a Sunday. So we were able to do it on 7-7, but it, it really honestly, to me, like it just, it, it doesn't fully matter. It's just kind of cool to do it on the day. Um, but most of the workshops we've done like a couple days after or prior. Um, so anyways, uh, I will be posting about that on the community page. Um, you have to be subscribed and have your notifications on to receive the alerts for, you know, anytime I post anything, a video or the community, you know, something on the community page or whatever. Um, or you can always just email me at gypsycowgirltarot at gmail.com to inquire about the workshop, how to purchase a ticket, which is only $44 USD. And we're actually 44 minutes in. So I just saw 4411. So we have these master numbers just coming in to confirm. I love it. Okay. So enough about that. Just FYI, you know, I have to talk about and share about it in the videos. Um, and if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, 
do a, a general psychic mediumship reading um, or a past life Akashic reading, or maybe you feel called to do uh, at being a, a high priestess, a healer, um, working with your, your energy, etc. So I offer intuitive energetic healing sessions, which are amazing. Um, I offer a 20 minute vent sesh, like, yeah, so all, everything's in the description box, okay? I'm like, your menu, your, your spiritual service menu is all down below. Okay, so anyways, last two cards here, now that we got all of the, the business talk out of the way. You are a star in my eyes, you can do anything. I wonder if you could love someone like me forever. Yeah, see, and this is exactly what I was talking about with like the self-worth, okay? Like, this is exactly what I meant. Like, they, it kind of kept them away because it was like, can you really love someone like me? So they really had to, like, go within and, you know, heal some wounds and karma and, and allow this time in, se in 3D separation to really expand and grow so that they, like I said, could start to see, hey, I deserve more than this. Like, what have I been doing with myself? What have I been doing with my life? These choices, right? Um, so again, it's all about self-love. And now it's like, you're a star in my eyes, but you know what? Now I'm starting to see that I'm deserving and that, you know, like I could, could you love me like I love you? It's kind of, you know, I have been feeling the need to connect to nature and the sun. Wow. And we had the sun card out too. And I spoke of like the massive sun energy and the solar flares and like just all of the, you know, the activations that they are receiving right now. So they have been... They've been, you know, needing to spend time outdoors in nature, you know, whether they realize like that they're integrating and awakening or activations or not, like you just naturally go, you know, it feels really nice to be out in the sun. I'm going to sit out on the lawn or I'm just going to, you know, I'm feeling like I need to go be in water today. So they're following that stuff. It's beautiful. I feel closer to you and myself when I do. So they're saying, I have been feeling the need to connect to nature and the sun. I feel closer to you and myself when I do. So just... Again, Mother Nature, Gaia, right? Um, just being under the sun or maybe sitting out under the, the moon or the stars, the night sky, you know, um, connecting with the birds or, you know, they're tuning in on a higher level. That's the point, right? All of the things that we wake up to that maybe we didn't notice so much before, you know, it's like that, right? Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here, Mia Mars. Happy full moon in Capricorn. Um, Wow, I, in the bottom of the deck here, I just felt called. I fantasize constantly about us making love. I long for the day I feel your skin on mine. Okay, so <laughs> that's pretty precise, right? Okay, so I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Thank you again. Happy full moon. Um, please feel free to leave comments. Thank you for liking. Thank you for connecting your energy to the channel um, and for helping this channel grow and for being a part of our soul family here at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. So have a beautiful day, mi amores. I'll see you soon. Mwah.